I'm going to talk about Spring Cloud API Gateway. So first of all, like what is API Gateway here? Okay, so if you can see here, we have a couple of microservices, right? So if each service wants to communicate with other service, this is inter-service communication, right? So for each service here, the single point of entry is this is uh, our like Spring Cloud API Gateway here. Okay, so each and every microservice has to be comes through this API Gateway to reach this microservices right i'm just generally speaking about distributed environment here so in the distributed environment service needs to communicate with each other right so uh, let's say that uh, uh, we we got like some user case like um, some other uh, client so wants to communicate with our microservice here right so in this case we cannot directly expose our microservice to the clients right so that uh, client um, microservice wants to be comes through this api gateway to reach our microservices here okay so uh, so we can create a service gateway so which routes the request to various microservices and response to that clients here okay uh, yeah so apart from this basically this spring cloud gateway will provide like couple of features like routing filtering load balancing and circuit breaking as well okay so this is about api gateway and let's jump into our code okay. so let's open our spring initializer here so let's create spring cloud api gateway here okay and so this is demo for api gateway here okay and let's remove this and provide the main package here okay so here we need a Eureka discovery client as well. We need to uh, register like our um, API gateway with this. Okay, so Eureka server. So that is the reason we required this discovery client library as well. So apart from this, we need uh, um, cloud API gateway as well. Okay. Okay, so let's take this and let's generate this project and let's unzip this. Okay and go back to our IntelliJ and let's open this project in our IntelliJ here okay let's open this okay and let's go back to our resources here and let's create application dot ml file here okay so here we need to provide the application name i'm going to provide api gateway here okay and after that uh, we need to provide the server port number here so i'm going to provide 9090 here and after that we need to register this api gateway with our eureka server right so uh, let's provide the eureka server okay url here okay and after that so what we need to do is we have to uh, provide like um, the route information here okay so to provide the route information so we have a spring cloud gateway configuration so that we can configure in the application.ml file so that is like uh, we can configure here and apart from this programmatically also we can achieve that okay so i'm going to uh, discuss the both approaches here the first let's discuss about how configure that spring cloud gateway here so we need to define the routes here so let me provide that configuration here okay so so the configuration could be spring cloud gateway okay and after the after that we need to provide the routes and after that we have a id okay and id and after that we have a uri and uh, we have like predicates okay so uh, here i will explain one by one here okay so first of all like uh, i would like to discuss what is um, route and what is predicate and we have like filter as well so route is uh, nothing but like this is very very important so this is the primary api of the gateway so it is defined by a given identification okay so that is id and after that we have to uh, provide the destination uri here okay and set of predicates and inside these predicates we need to provide the path as well okay and after that we have a filter the filter is nothing but a standard spring web filter okay if you want to make use you can use the filter as well so in the id what i'm going to do is i'm going to provide products okay and after that in uri we need to provide the load balancer url here okay 
so a product service and inside this predicates i need to define the path here okay and path could be so my path is products here okay so that's it so once you define that let's restart this uh, api gateway and now go to your okay eureka server let's hit this and you can see the spring cloud api gateway is registered with this eureka server and let's open this and go back here so this is the actuator information right so this is related to uh, api gateway actuator information so i need to uh, provide the products here to see the products details here okay so this is how it will work and now we have a another option okay so this is one option and another option is okay cloud gateway okay we have a discovery locator okay so this could be enabled here okay so this is another way let's restart this it's restarted and go back to here and let's hit this so this time this is not working okay so this time what we need to do is we have to provide the product service name here product and service okay and after that we need to provide the product our path here okay so you can see here and so one more thing here we have defined product service as uppercase here okay because so you can see this instance name it is showing as uppercase now so the same thing so what we can do is uh, let's open another tab so here i'm going to define in the lowest case here okay product so service okay so this is not working in the lower case right so to do this so what we can do is uh, we have like lowercase enable true here okay so with this information you can get the information here okay so let's go back here and hit this okay so this time we are getting the information with this lowercase here okay so uh, this is how it will work and now let's remove this information and this is uh, api gateway routes we can define here and apart from this uh, we can do it in programmatically as well okay so let's go back to our official documentation okay and here let's close this and come back here so here we have a some bean here that is route locator bean so we can define this route locator bean as well let's copy this and come back to your main application let's define here okay so let's import this bean and let's import this route locator as well and this is route locator builder okay we have two routes but i need only one route okay so okay so here the same thing route and first is path my path is products here okay and after that filter so if you want to uh, provide like any header name and value so let's provide this okay so in the header i will provide like service name okay so product service okay and apart from this here we need to provide okay our uri here so local host um okay 8081 okay so that's it and let's restart this application and see get started and go back to your eureka server here and here so let's remove this this time we need to provide only products here okay so this is not working and let's go back to eureka server okay go back here and let's click on this and provide product okay so this is working fine so this is another way so by using this route locator being here 
okay so this is how we can achieve uh, the spring cloud gateway so okay let's jump into the next topic